Madcats 101 here today. This is going to be a short little VI lesson. So uh, let me just explain some background information to you. VI is a nice little word processor in Unix, which people used to use before Nano was available. Nano is sort of cheating because you have arrow keys, but Nano doesn't work on old-fashioned terminals that don't have arrow keys because the old-fashioned terminals didn't have arrow keys. VI does not require any arrow keys. Now, VI has a system. There are two modes, insert mode and normal mode. Insert mode is when you type a key on the keyboard and it types it. It puts it just there on the screen. Normal mode is when you press a key and it will process the key and the key commands will work. So I probably don't understand this right now, so I'll just show you. VI is just like Nano in that you type VI space and then the file name. And if the file name is has spaces in it, then you type the file name in quotes. So I'll just make it called was here. Now I hit enter and the VI screen will come up. Looks like this. It has these nice blue lines normally when it's a new file. And if it's a new file, it'll say the name of the file and that it's a new file. So right now we're in normal mode. So we can type a key, let's press A. It won't work. Now, when you're in normal mode, you can press I to go into insert mode and it'll say insert at the bottom here. And now I'm in insert mode because I just pressed I. So now I can type I was here. And now I'll put period and I'll hit enter twice and type a new line. Okay. So now I can type escape to go back to normal mode. When you're in normal mode, um, like I said, I goes back into insert mode and then you just start typing where your cursor is. But if there's no arrow keys, how do you move around? Well, it's simple. When you're in normal mode, you press K to go up, J to go down, H to go left, L to go right. Now I can move to the beginning of this line with H. I can move to the end of this line with L. I can move to this top line with K and back down to this bottom line with J. I can also you know, move to the beginning. Now, say I want to put something after the period here in this line um, in I was here. How do I do that? Well, you think it's pretty simple. I press L to move over here to this period. And then, but the problem is now if I press I, I'm a letter before the period. I can't get past that period to type after that period. How do I do this? When I'm in normal mode, just like the HJKNL keys, you can also type capital A. By doing this, you hold Shift A. So, in normal mode, it automatically brings you into insert mode, as you can see from down here. And it, um, basically brings you to the character after the last character of the line. Then you can take double space and then say I am Alex. And now say I want to write to the end of hi guys, this line. I just go down to this line in normal mode, press shift A, brings me into insert mode and I can immediately start typing here. Now say I want to save this and exit VI at the same time. I press escape to go back into normal mode. So I've pressed escape and now I type colon X. And then I hit enter. And now it's exited VI. And right here on my desktop is this file, which I just dragged over from the side, called I was here, or called was here because that's what I named it with VI. So I can open this just to prove that this is real, he, the file. And it says, I was here. I am Alex. Hi, guys. I'm a. Hi, Dave. You know, I don't even remember writing that in the file. Well, whatever, I'm random. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I don't want to save my changes. I can also VI was here and go back down and say I don't like this line in between these two other lines. While I'm on this line, I can press D twice really fast. Um, so I press DD. And it's deleted that middle line. Say I want to delete this hi guys, hi day. I press DD again. And now it's deleted that. I'm going to go to the end of this line, make a new line, and type, oh crap. 
And now I can click escape and then do colon X. And it's just saved that it was here. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? So I can also VI it. And say I'm editing and I just want to save without exiting. Heck. Well, I can just press escape and instead of colon X, I do colon W. And that just saves it and then keeps on editing it. So now I can open it up and it has saved it as you can see by my changes I made to the file but it has not exited VI. Now I'm going to type colon Q instead of colon X in normal mode to quit. Now say you've edited it and you totally screw up. Okay, I don't like this code. Okay, so I don't like this stuff here and I don't want to have to delete every line. So, I, I like the file before when I, the, I like the file that's saved right now and I don't want to save this to exit. I just press escape, colon, Q, exclamation point. So in normal mode, I just press, or I just type colon, Q, exclamation point. Now the reason I put the exclamation point is Q normally exits but if you made changes to the file already, then it won't work. This error will come up, so I don't suggest trying to do that. You need an exclamation point, and that will just quit. VI. It will not have saved, as you can see. I text edit. It did not save. Um, it is good. Um, now, if I haven't edited it at all, and I don't feel like pressing colon X because I might have accidentally changed something I don't know about, I just press, or I just type colon Q. And without an exclamation point, if I haven't changed it or anything, colon Q will just quit VI. Um, so, yeah. Now, I've showed you how to go to the end of a line. And I've showed you how to delete a line by pressing D twice. Um, I've never showed you how to yank. Now you press I to insert, and this is not part of it. Um, so I have this line, which I want to copy, and I want to paste. And so this only works line by line. Normal mode, I press YY really fast, YY. And then I'm going to go to another line. Now all I have to do in normal mode is press P, and it pastes. So... I can keep on pressing P. I can hold P and I'll keep on printing it, unfortunately. I'll just press colon Q exclamation point because I don't want to save that. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty cool. So that's how to use VI. Showed you how to edit the file. I showed you how to move around. Showed you how to type. Showed you how to save. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty convenient. It's a lot different than Nano. Um. One last thing with VI, though, that's not as important. When you're in normal mode, if your cursor is over a letter you want to delete, you press X in normal mode, and it'll just delete that letter. Woo, how cool is that? So, you don't have to do a backspace or anything, just press X. So, one last thing with it, with this, is, um, say... You sort of like this VI experience, and you're used to pressing escape instead of using the arrow keys like you do at the command line. Like, when I'm typing a command, I use the arrow keys to move around and the delete key or backspace, whatever, to go back. As in, like, to delete. You can do, type the command set, space dash O, space vi and now when I type a command I can press escape at any time to go back into normal mode and then use H L to move back and forth and K to move up a command and J to move down so let me go back down and of course I can press DD to delete the line X to delete a letter I to insert um, of course, this is very useful. Why, why to yank? And then, P to paste. 
So that's all pretty cool. Set-OVI is very convenient and useful. Thank you for watching my VI lesson. Subscribe to MacCuds101. Life is short and goodbye.